Alternate picking, five minute lesson, here we go. So alternate picking basically means you start with a downstroke and then you do an upstroke and you continue on like that, down, up, down, up, down, up, and you never deviate from that pattern. There's other great picking styles like economy or sweep picking, hybrid picking where you combine uh, the pick and fingers, and I dabble in those, but when it comes right down to it, I've always sort of been an alternate picker, especially when I've got to uh, do something that's technically difficult. Uh, I, I started uh, uh, practicing alternate picking at a really, really young age, uh, pretty much right when I started the guitar at 10 or 11 years old. And then when I was like 16 and 17, I was studying uh, the instructional videos from guys like Steve Morse and Paul Gilbert and these guys that could alternate pick like crazy. So that's really uh, sort of where my technique and any kind of um, agility that I have with alternate picking comes from, is from watching those guys. And uh, so I'll get more into, into them and, and how I learned from them in a minute. But first, uh, let's uh, do a basic alternate picking exercise. Okay, so this is a great warm-up and it'll get your hands synced up and locked together. And if you haven't done a lot of alternate picking, this is a terrific one. If, if you have, you've probably heard this done a million times. But we're going to start on the first fret of the sixth string and you're just going to play the first fret with the first finger, the second fret with the second finger, third fret with the third finger, and the fourth fret with the fourth finger. And you're going to start with a downstroke with the pick and you're going to go down, up, down, up. Okay? Okay, and that's on the sixth string. Okay, then we're going to move to the fifth string, do the same thing. Okay, and likewise all the way down until you hit the uh, fourth fret, the uh, A flat note on the first string. Okay. And the goal is to play really clean. I'm playing with a clean sound right now so that I don't have any the help of any gain or anything like that for sustain. You want to get the notes basically all the same volume and real even rhythmically. Okay, so let's do the same thing with a click. turn around go back down the other way so I know I'm going really slow but that's because um, there might be people out there that can only do it that fast and that's fine because speed's not important yet speed will come really quickly if you start that slow and you make sure that all the notes are real even, both timing wise and velocity wise. Okay, so uh, let's do it a little bit faster. That was quarter notes at 95 BPM. Let's do eighth notes at 95 BPM. Okay, once you get that down, you want to be able, be able to work it up to the point where you can do 16th notes at 95. Okay, so the goal is real clean, um, no matter whether you're doing quarter notes, eighth notes, 16th notes, you know, just work up the speed really slow and make sure that, uh, you know, you're getting all the notes super clean, okay? So um, you want to work it up to a relatively fast tempo. So here's 16th notes at 145. Okay, on and on and on. Uh, basically what I'm doing uh, this time around is when I got up to the, uh, the high E string at the, uh, the fourth fret or the A flat note, then shift up to the fifth fret. Continue on down to the second fret of the sixth string. Shift up to the third fret of the sixth string.
Okay, and that was how I was kind of ascending all the way up the neck. So this is a really good picking exercise. I mean, it's um, it's not super musical, I will say that. And I like to usually try and play things that are musical these days if I'm practicing. But it is just a good basic warm up. You can do this and feel whether or not you're doing it cleanly without even hearing the guitar that well. Like if you're backstage and it's noisy or something and you don't have an amp, this is a great warm up to do to just get your hands synced up, get the blood flowing, get everything locked together. Okay, so when I was 16 or 17, I got the uh, Paul Gilbert Intense Rock 1 video, and uh, I've been working real hard on my playing, but man, when I got that, it was like he was doing these crazy alternate picking things, and so I sat there like a monkey and worked on my alternate picking for like six months and basically didn't do anything else, and uh, I got a lot faster. I learned that playing fast actually is not that hard. What, what's hard is playing good, um, you know, with feel and, and playing interesting things. Um, and uh, if you want to really up your technique, uh, you can totally do it, you know. Uh, Paul's one of those players that always plays creatively and, and plays, f you know, things that are funny and interesting and with a lot of passion and fire. And uh, so he makes it work. But um, playing fast isn't the be-all, the end-all. You know, you got to play something interesting uh, as well. Anyway, so um, the Paul Gilbert lick that really knocked me out and was the first one that kind of started it all for my really work on my alternate picking, picking chops was this one. <laughs> That's the first lick in his video, so I'm gonna steal it right now and put it in my own. Uh, when you play it fast, it sounds like this. Okay, and he would do this thing where he had figured out that you're actually crossing over to the first string uh, from the second string is where uh, things might get difficult and might slow you down because it's an upstroke, okay? So I'm gonna show you the whole lick right now. You start on the 12th fret of the second string or the B string, and you play the 12th fret with your first finger and the 13th fret and the C note with your second finger and the D note at the 15th fret with your fourth finger. Okay, and the picking is down, up, down. Okay, and then when you get to the uh, first string, you're gonna uh, play the, the 12th fret of the E note on the first string, and that's gonna be with an upstroke. Okay, and then you just descend. It's a downstroke for the D note on the second string, an upstroke for the C, the 13th fret, and a downstroke for the B, and you start over. Okay, so let's do that with the metronome. First up, we're gonna do eighth note triplets, okay? So, one, two, three, four. Make sure you're just going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, and really minimal motion with the pick. The faster I go, the lighter I actually play. A 16th note triplet sounds like this. Three, four. Okay, here's a cool little alternate picking pattern uh, that allows you to move up and down the neck super fast, and it's actually uh, kind of like what I started the video off with. So, uh, starting on the fifth fret, uh, the note E on the second string. Okay, I'm gonna do a downstroke, and then we're gonna do an upstroke on the note G on the eighth fret. Okay, F on the sixth fret and E on the 5th fret. Okay, so that sounds like this. And the last two notes of the phrase are F and G. Okay. Okay, so um, with this uh, little six note pattern now, you can shift up and down really quick. So I'm gonna play it with a click now and you can hear what it sounds like in time. Two, three, four. Okay, you can now shift this all over. Okay, this is about 114 BPM now. Still just the same sixes pattern, but I'm gonna play it much faster and moving all over the neck. Um, really minimal motion when I pick like this. I just move the pick as little as possible and use the very tip. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, once again, way slower at about 85 BPM, and uh, I'll just play uh, a similar ascending pattern, but at this nice slow tempo.
Thanks for watching my five minute lesson on alternate picking, at least how I alternate pick. Um, I can't uh, stress enough, uh, the, the faster I actually play, the lighter I play and uh, more efficient. So I try and lighten up and consciously think about lighting up with the, lightening up with the pick and uh, playing with less motion and using the very tip of the pick. So when I play slower, I might play a little bit harder and then as I speed up, playing without an amp right now because I think it illustrates it better. I actually lighten up my touch. Uh, okay, that's it. I'll see you next time. I'm Pete Thorne. Take it easy.